today we are working on our Halloween cat face. So I want you to take the black half sheet that has the cat face traced. I don't know if that makes you see it better. And flip it over. So I don't want you to paint on top of what's traced so you know um, how, what to cut out tomorrow. So flip that over and then you'll have your black paint with some make it glitter and then your brush. So first I want you to mix up your paint pretty well. You can have your adult helper do this or you could do it. Okay, looks pretty good. And this uh, sparkles will show up a little better once it's dry. So, and then I want you to paint your black sheet of paper. So, and make sure you're doing little strokes and you can hold it with one hand. And I kind of pinch, kind of with my thumb and my pointy finger. Instead of holding it like this, I want you to try to hold it as close to how you would a pencil for more control. And I like to paint all the way to the edge because the cat face, when you cut it out tomorrow, will be all the way to the sides. I can already start to see the, the sparkles coming out. That looks awesome. And see how I just held it in that one corner and I can just gently dab or brush like that. I like to smooth it all out. Whoopsie. There you go. All right, and let that dry. And if it wrinkles up a little bit after it dries, you can put a book on top of it to flatten it out. And I will see you tomorrow to finish the project. Good job. All right, today we are finishing up our cat mask face. I went ahead and cut out the mask and then I'm going to have put on the ears and I just put a dot. You can also use your glue bottle to glue. And then I'm putting pink ears in. All right. And then I also provided a popsicle stick for holding the face up if you wanna do that. I know if you put it on the bottom, it might be a little flimsy, but you could also do the top to hold the mask up or the side, or just hold it with your hands when you're taking a picture. Um, so whatever you wanna do, you can use this or you don't have to, but um, if you do, you can use your glue dots to attach it. All right, I can't wait to see your cat face pictures.